Hi Virgo, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your tarot and oracle card reading today. This is a reading for all Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. You've got a general reading here and the theme is from the Moonology Manifestation Oracle card deck. You have the card of New Moon in Capricorn, Step Up and Lead, okay? So there may be something that needs your management. We'll see. It may be time to take some action. Let's consult the tarot and see what else you need to know. All right. What advice do you have for Virgo, please? What does Virgo need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all involved with Virgo? Step up and lead. Okay, we'll lay out the tarot here and then we'll have a, a Angel Answers Oracle card reading. You've got the Seven of Wands, the Four of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups, the Emperor. Boy, there's some leadership for you. The Hermit, you and your own energy, the Ace of Pentacles, the Three of Cups, and the Ten of Pentacles. I like this a lot. You have your Aries and Virgo, like we said, but I like this bottom quadrant, okay, with the Ten of Pentacles, you have the Ace and the Ten, those, the uh, major arcana that are numbers, those are called the Pip cards, all right, or minor, I'm sorry, minor arcana. Um, I like this a lot. It's like you have the beginning all the way to, to you've arrived, all right? So we have Earth here. We've got quite a bit of water. We have fire as well. But I'll tell you what, we can even add these guys in. And I do feel like with this, that step up and lead, it's going to be doing your thing on your terms in a way too, where you may bring your skill set to a situation. You may bring your experience, your wisdom, something about this. Now, for some of you too, you may have a situation where you're going to be mentored and it's really going to be beneficial if it has anything to do with money. I do feel like it's an opportunity that's going to bring in more money. So if someone gives you a suggestion like, hey, we're looking for people here, freelance, consultants, um, contract, that's what I think I was really trying to get at, contracted workers where you get a little extra pay. But I do feel like with that, it's going to parlay into more, all right? You've got more coming in here. So with the Seven of Wands here, we'll get back to this in a minute. I just, because I had half the cards in my hand, it took me a minute. Um, the Seven of Wands, talk about a leader. This is moving forward no matter what. But it's also too, this is a card that says you're in alignment because you see all these little wands poking up. They're no match for that gigantic wand. He's like, stay back. But overall, it's the signal that you're in alignment where you may have some small things here and there, but you don't cave, you don't crack, you don't put the wand down and sit down and start crying and go, never mind, I can't do this. You say, well, get hang on a minute, let's navigate. This one always reminds me of Abraham Hicks when Esther Hicks talks about flying and she has one airline she cannot stand. She doesn't specifically name it, but she gives you enough clues that it's very obvious which one it is. And then she talks about the one she loves. And so anyway, she tells all kinds of stories about delays and, you know, navigating those changes and knowing I have to go get to the speaking engagement. So that staying here is not an option. You know, it's like that. It's like where you might have some little things here or there, but you find the way, you find the solution. So if it is a job situation, I feel like you're going to be a real problem solver for people around you, especially if you do some kind of contract contracting where I do feel like they're going to offer you a full-time job if that's you. But I also feel like too, you might be kind of busy if it's just a side hustle, but I do feel like you're going to like the money that comes in because you definitely have that. With this four of pentacles and the energy that's here, you might honestly be a little too busy to really spend money frivol frivolously anyway. The four of pentacles, you'll be watching your money, but it's not necessarily a card of deficit. It really is intentional. He doesn't have to have these pentacles where they are. He's wearing one as a crown. And so for some of you, I feel like you're about to have a nice little savings accrue, accumulate. You're going to be accumulating pentacles. And I think you're going to like how that feels because it feels like freedom. It feels like security. If you're saving up towards something, I just feel like it's going to be easy for you to do it. it in, in two, if you've ever had a period where you kind of got money and just spent it as quickly as it came in, I do feel like you've learned from that. And so you're going to find too, if you're just a stuffologist, Okay, if you've turned into like, oh my God, where did all this stuff come from? People comment on my backdrops. Now, mind you, some of the pictures I use are 25 years old, 
But I, I sometimes I look around at all the stuff and I go, oh, dear Lord. Um, but it does bring in some di diversity, at least for the backdrops on the readings. So I feel like somebody here, you're going to look at that too, though. If that's happened where you've gotten a lot of like just extra clothes closets, like closets with your clothes are starting to overflow, where you're going to start getting rid of things and just not picking up things that are not things that you need. So with this Eight of Cups, you're moving on here. The Eight of Cups, too, is a new cycle so let's talk about love for a minute somebody here you do have a reunion showing up so if you do have a, a something planned or you have a friend who connects with you and wants you to get together with some old pals or even if it's something like you're not you know long lost but you just haven't seen each other in a while I do feel like you're going to have a reunion going on here if you've been busy and focused on other things but the eight of cups is also the hero's journey so I feel like changes that you're making are just part of that they're part of discovering more of in somebody too I do get if you're taking a solo trip it's going to be a great opportunity for you to get into some spiritual practices where you don't have people pulling at you needing this or that and if you're the one that's doing the contracted work and it takes you away like if you're a medical perf I just heard, wanted to say perfunctionist I was going to say professional so if you're some kind of a medical professional and you do you have an opportunity to travel okay like it's big bucks and you're traveling um, and they're compensating for you for it with you. I do feel like you're going to have that time alone. That solitude is really going to amp up your spiritual vibes. You're really going to be feeling good. There's no loneliness in this reading. And I also feel like, too, if you are going to be gone for work, when you come back, you're going to have that reconnection with the people around you like you haven't missed a beat. I do feel like they're going to miss you, though, if you do have some reason that takes you out of town or even takes you away on a move. If you've had to move away, I still feel like you have people who want to reconnect with you. Well, this is a card of discipline and order. So I mentioned this, this step up and lead. It's right here. The emperor takes the reins on things. He's also, too, the one who will push back a little bit. So if you do have a, uh, a situation where you have to challenge outdated systems, antiquated procedures, I feel like you're going to be the person that gets the job done. And so part of it, though, is the delivery of it. I just feel like your experience is going to be great here. Now, if it's you connecting and you've got somebody who's like this, who has a heck of a lot of experience and knowledge, be a sponge. Get the information, get what you need. Um, because even with this, you know, I mentioned that getting rid of antiquated systems. Um, I don't feel like this person is way outdated, though. This is not somebody who's using carbon copies. You know what I mean? If you're going, what are those? It's an old timey thing. I used to use those when we, I first started my job where we'd have to use like it's a black piece of paper in the middle of three papers and you have to press really hard to get it to indent on the bottom too. The last copy always sucked. It was like, I can't read this. But anyway, with this emperor energy, you have order and direction coming in. He's the great architect of the universe. So this is a great time to forge ahead. Now that Aries energy will go where other signs won't. So again, if you have something that you have to take over and get it under order or get it organized, you're gonna do great in this energy. And I also feel like too, you as a leader, you're going to find people follow suit and they want you to step up and lead. I don't see anybody pushing against you. And so you may have to also delegate. You may have to find people to help you. So you're not just one and one and only here. So I mentioned before with this hermit energy, you're climbing to the pinnacle of success. I still get a lot of um, feelings about solo. You know, like I said, I mentioned the finding people to delegate, but I do feel like there's something about you doing some things on your own here. And I mentioned the travel thing, too. If it's a travel for leisure kind of a thing, I feel like that's going to also be one of those trips where you're going to say that changed me in some capacity for the better. But overall, with the hermit, this is your higher self leading the way, your light, that lantern inside. That's that light that guides you, but it's also the light where other people connect with you, where they shine, they see your shine and they shine back. There's a connection here. And so I definitely feel like there's something about this that softens the energy a little bit of the leadership part of this, um, because it does also too come from a place where people will trust you. And so this Ace of Pentacles, I mentioned, you have a new opportunity with money. You have new resources coming in. And so this Ace of Pentacles is new luck, health, and prosperity, but it's long-lasting. It's abundance and it is definitely 
allowing for growth. So this isn't the only, it's like, this isn't the end of the game. This is just the beginning. And so this new chapter too, in terms of love, you do have a long lasting love. There's something very, a, very much an overarching theme in this reading about money and career. Okay. I'm just going to be forward with you about that. But I also feel like too, if you're in a relationship and you have some changes with your career and money, I feel like it's really going to help the relationship too. It's like you both come together as a team. And if there's something that you need help with, if you're making a change in a job and it's got you a little busy, I feel like your partner just steps up and leads. Remember, step up and lead. Maybe that's for the cross watcher today. So with the three of cups here, celebration, whatever you're asking about, it ends in this. It is a card, though, of great appreciation. So I mentioned, too, about, you know, collecting stuff, right? And some of that is also our attitude towards it. Being in the place of saying, wow, I've had money to buy all this stuff. That's great. Look at all that. And so it really is about how you see the world and how you see things. And I feel like they're saying, see everything through the eyes of appreciation. Even if something goes south on you, at least you know it. At least you know that this particular part, if it was a person who was unreliable, at least you know that. Where you didn't get into a situation where they had too much skin in the game and then you're like, oh God, now what do we do? Um, so with this Ten of Pentacles, I mentioned before, it is the wealth card, but it ultimately is such a card of blessings coming in. Enjoy every single minute of this. This is where everything you've asked for rains down. This is where it like really shows up in your life where those manifestations take physical, uh, take a physical form. And so with that, in terms of a relationship too, you definitely have a partner here, a very reliable partner. So let's see now what the angels want you to know, and then uh, we'll conclude. What else does Virgo need to know, please? Oh, well, okay. I think I'm just going to take whatever this top card is. How about that? It's like the cards just go, hey, we're done with this. Let me out. All right, you've got the situation will improve. So if you do feel like you've been navigating things on your own, it's been a little challenging. I feel like you're going to have more help here. Communicate clearly. And you've got a golden opportunity. I haven't seen that in a while. You've got a year from now, but don't let that scare you off. You come back in a year and you tell me how good things are. Choose a new direction. So open yourself up because you have an opportunity here. Good things are on the way for you, Virgo. I love you. And I'll be back again soon.